You're listening to Why You Suck in Bed on the Riotcast Network, riotcast.com. I was prescribed the black dildo, not the white dildo. I didn't ask for generic. I asked for the name brand. Thank you. Why you suck in bed? The refined podcast for the refined gentlemen. Re- refined. Refined. <sighs> I'm wearing a monocle. <laughs> I love those cigarette holders. What are they called? <laughs> cigarette holders. <laughs> oh no, they do. They have a name. Dude, hey, why don't you Google it? I should fucking because that's all you do. <laughs> Ask that guy at Google what it's called. Uh, <laughs> all right, we can't continue until we know. All right, so John Tier page here, it's peace here. We're here. I'm staring at my new fairy oh, and garden. This is, it's got some know? pink flamingos. In Sex it. slaves here. Sex slaves in the audience. Papanino's here. Papanino. 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 <laughs> and how have we not mentioned that May is masturbation month? Oh, that's right. Oh, I did get an email. Going right into email. Well, I only have one. <laughs> wow, we're going right into it, huh? It's time no to foreplay, right in. It's time to answer your emails. Oh, get the penis out of your mouth. Uh, so, here we go. This is <laughs> this email is from Dan. And he wanted to know. <laughs> yeah, masturbation month. Does the cast of Why You Suck in Bed have any plans for National Masturbation Month, which is in May? Which is now. I've been celebrating all month, and I didn't Currently. realize it. So what? We don't celebrate when it's not May. Whoa, easy. Take it easy. <laughs> I'm just asking. <laughs> asking. You're just asking. It was just a question. I'm just asking. Shit. Well, I'm, I'm just saying. Are you egging? I'm just saying. Are you egging? I am egging. Actually. That actually is it Shark Week. <laughs> That's a good segue into my... It's my Snappo week. I have, a good, I have a topic that connects to this. Red Snappo. Red Snappo. Any good stories about being <laughs> caught masturbating? What are we giving away? <laughs> like by parents when you're living at home or by roommates? You want me to start since I brought up the topic? Apparently you have good stories. <laughs> Oh, well, I've been caught multiple times. Oh, I was caught by my roommate okay. a couple of times. Cause <laughs> my freshman year, uh, I didn't have a computer, and he, his was the only computer in the room. And I didn't realize that, like, the history gets saved and everything. Oh, no. I used to look up some f- fucking... Because it was, like, the first time I was out of the house, and I could go nuts on the network. And Unchained. Just, but even at, in... in when I lived at home, I got caught one time in the basement by my fucking little sister. But take, oh, wait, 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 wait. That's rough. First of all, when you were caught by your roommates? Yeah. Roommate. Roommates? Freshman year, one roommate. This is my question because there was a, okay, there was a movie called, I think it was called Damage with Jeremy Irons. And Jeremy Irons. Fucking love him. Yeah, me too. And he was having an affair with his- Scar. Voice of Scar. It still doesn't Really? Happen. He's a vi- <laughs> that's it, he's that's a well all, he's a that's very all you gotta know. he's an amazing actor. That's all that you huge know. body of work. <laughs> Voice of Scar. And it's always that like, sexy? oh that guy. Lolita. He's oh, a Lolita. Oh, I know who he is. I was very okay. sexy, but it was weird. The remake of Lolita. I was thinking, Stop. right? Yes, no, it's it was true. true. I was yes. like the Kubrick version. All right, are you gonna have a fight? Are you yes. two gonna have a couple's fight? A die Hard. Guy. Die Hard Three. Oh, also oh, a good reference. <laughs> <laughs> That's all you need to know. Anyway, <laughs> um, Aragon. Damage. Dungeons and Dragons. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking Duh. classic. <laughs> classic irons. <laughs> You're so sexy. <laughs> you, doesn't he? You just like exude sex. I got wet when he said Dungeons and Dragons. <laughs> oh, I can't even contain myself right now. 
It's D and D window licking dog. <laughs> Frankie Beans. Doctor Tasty. Doctor Tasty. How'd you get the beans above the Frank? All right. So he's in damn. He's in the movie. Yes. And he's having an affair with his son's wife or girlfriend. Fiance. Fiance. You've seen this movie? Yes. It's ridiculous. You've seen. No one's seen this movie. And <laughs> I saw it in the movie theater. My friends were like, "You suck. We want our money back." Was it? Was it the first? <laughs> was it the first moving picture? Yes. <laughs> there was no sound. There was no sound. Right? TP. It's black and right. white. <laughs> Lots of reading. It was before cartoons too. So he, before he did his voiceover. Work. Yes. This is before colors existed. This is when he in actually movies. had to act for his money. So Steamboat Willie came on after. He's banging the fiance. A piano in a the theater during the music. Uh, the sound <laughs> but I don't know. I almost lost <laughs> Twisted Tea on And that. they were like <laughs> dancing p- dancing popcorn containers right. at intermission. <laughs> Let's all Let's go, go to the out lobby. to the kitchen. Let's, Let's all go, go to the lobby. lobby. Let's all go to the lobby. And get, and get ourselves, ourselves a treat. TP wore a suit tie to the theater. <laughs> <laughs> and a hat. It was a big event. And men wore hats. <laughs> <laughs> a fedora. Uh, it was a different time. You had to remove it though when you were in the theater. Mm-hmm. All right. Hmm. So now we got that out of our system. What the fuck were we talking about? So Jeremy Irons is, is banging the fiance. Okay. Okay. And the son walks in on them. Okay. Now now he's banging the son something, so that's a bad thing. Yep. Okay. <laughs> Just run, sweet. So the son walks Christ. in and he doesn't stop fucking her. He keeps fucking her while Damn. looking at his son. To spite. Nice. I now, applaud his ability to keep a boner in that kind of a stressful hey, situation. It's, it's, it's the fucking irons, man. Uh, <laughs> it's the irons. It's also the movies. Where do you think he got his name from? <laughs> but I like to irons. think that maybe he was at the point of ejaculation where there's no turning back. That happened. And to- that's the question I'm posing to you because oh. when you get oh. caught masturbating. If you're at the point, do you just keep going and like, sorry, you had to catch me, dude? <gasps> like or a do grandma's you, boy. Stop. The movie yeah. Grandma's I, I, like, can't I can't stop, stop. It feels coming. so good. It feels so Does that good. actually happen? No. Oh. Well, <laughs> hold on. The other night, I had a power outage at like 1030, and I was, I was whacking it, and literally, like, I'm about to come, and the lights go off. <laughs> and I'm like, fuck it. I don't care. And I just blew it all over the floor, and I Your have no idea. Your sexual energy was so strong, <laughs> you I, caused the blackout. And so, I, no, I finished... <laughs> And I'm sitting there in the dark. <gasps> I'm in the dark, hunched over. I had moved the Covered garbage can semen. next to the, the where I was whacking it, but I have no idea if I got it in the garbage can. Whoa, 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 it's whoa, whoa, whoa! Pitch black. Back up. <laughs> Pre masturbation, you brought the garbage can over to your bed. I did. So you no, could jizz no. into it. No, to the. Uh, my computer. Just in his <laughs> masturbation <laughs> station. Yeah. <laughs> I don't understand. Like, why Why do you bring the garbage can over? Is that... To blow it in the garbage can. That's what I mean. That yeah. was like so a, efficient. a preemptive right. thing. to efficient. Yeah. It I kind was, of is. Instead of you know, using a sock or, or a plastic bag. But wait, what if there's smelly garbage in there? Doesn't like, matter. if there was some edamame <laughs> rotting, I don't think I there could. Was, I if think, there were some Brussels sprouts <laughs> in the garbage can. Yes. I think there was an empty yogurt thing. I would okay. blow it right in the yogurt. Okay. That's I different. Fuck, I don't care. We, we've seen the girls he's fucked. Trust me, it wouldn't stop yeah, him. Yeah, But my, my point <laughs> is that I'm, like, at where I'm, you know, okay, it's happening right now. And I'm looking at it, and I'm about, and then the fucking lights go off. And I'm like, oh, I don't give a fuck. I'm blowing it anyway. Ah! I, didn't know, I didn't know where it went, so I'm finished. And now I'm like, fuck. I don't know where this nut went. I can't see anything. I don't know where my flashlights are. I have fucking half a stock that's leaking all over the place. What a fucking mess. Hmm. I'm sorry. I can't even curse out Lipa because it's not them anymore, right? It's, um... We have a new... So when the lights came back on, did it look like... Who is did it? your room look like I a frosted had cupcake? A, yes, I had to right. uh, download a uh, flashlight app on my phone so that I could fucking see... Wow. Masturbation went. gone wrong. <laughs> they say it cost you an app. <laughs> but, Thankfully, it was free. But the couple of times that I got walked in on, my penis immediately like tenses. Like I, I don't think I'd be able to finish. Yeah. Well, Jeremy Irons could. <laughs> Jeremy Irons is the Irons man. So okay, so there's that, and that. So when your sister caught you, yeah, I was down in the basement whacking, and she came down to like see what I was doing because she was a little pain in the ass when she was younger, and I was like, oh, oh, oh. I had like my fucking shorts down, and uh, I told her that I was. Oh, 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 <laughs> oh, 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 oh. <laughs> I told her that I was peeing in a um, 
a water Mouth. bottle because I didn't feel like coming upstairs to pee. That's I don't know. That's a pretty good cover. Actually. I don't know if that's... it worked as a how cover old was up. she? I was probably thirteen, so she had to be about eleven. Oh man, so disturbing. So it's possible that was a good cover up though. That was pretty good. I didn't know. Yeah, it's because not like you, you guys know are going to talk did, about it. I did actually do that all the time when I was playing video games in the basement. I would just. She's like, "Why you're so sweaty?" I would pee in bottles. <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah, because I didn't want to go upstairs. <laughs> I know many guys that do this. That's why I'm not surprised. <laughs> like, really? TP's yeah. nodding. Guys do this. Yeah. I had a, we don't have this luxury. I grew up with a brother. I, he never peed in a water bottle. Seriously? I've seen not so many guys. No, I mean, he has peed. Uh, yeah, but not because he didn't want to pause a video game. Well, Just pause it. No, I could I could play the video game and pee in a bottle at the same time. I hooked up with a guy once that peed out of his window. <laughs> Because it was right next to the bed. So he would get up out of bed and then pee out the window because the bathroom was so far I knew a guy in, in his that studio that. fucking that's, apartment. Because the bathroom was wow. on the other side of the hall. Oh, my so God. What was outside the window? Uh, Just like a breezeway. It wasn't like like a sidewalk or anything, but still. Okay. I was going to say, imagine like on the New York City street. like <laughs> You have to get the right arc. <laughs> oh, my God. Little... It's raining. Okay. Oh, so... Sex slave just tweeted a story. Oh, a story about getting caught? Um, she masturbated at a movie under her coat. Next, what? Nice! Next to her friend Tweet and, her back. and her mother. Tweet what her was back. the movie? She what did was the movie. movie. What Didn't was the movie? Get caught. Why don't we just ask her? Hey, Sex Slave! <laughs> <laughs> sex Slave, are you here? <laughs> what was the movie? The Ghost of Sex... No shit! Girl with the pearl It was just, It was at a board. It wasn't at a stimulation from the movie. Scarlett Johansson. Good for you. Well, she's hot. Girl, yeah, not in that movie, I guess. Did you see her in Don John? I think oh, that yes. was like, she's never looked so good. She seriously, was she was also hot. I just saw the movie Her. You never oh, seen I didn't her. See that yet? But her, but her voice, voice is yeah, hot. I heard. I heard. I'm like, I hate her. But what's <laughs> nothing compared to Jeremy <laughs> Iron's name? voice was good in that Which movie one? too. Oh my god, uh, I didn't realize how hot he was until that movie. What's his fucking name? Robin? Um, yeah. Shit, I can't remember his name. I'm a huge Something. Uh, it's Gordon three. Love Hewitt. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> what, Gord- Jason Jennifer Gordon Love Hewitt. Gordon Love Hewitt. <laughs> you, it was so hot. <laughs> Same difference. Oh, I just raked my headphones on the fucking blind. That was great. <laughs> Why can't we stay on topic ever? <laughs> was it Jason Gordon Levitt? Yes. Jason Gordon Hewitt Love. <laughs> <laughs> the third. My friends call Hanson. My friends call big titties Love Hewitts. <laughs> <laughs> Back I up. thought it was. I thought it was Jennifer Love Huge Tits. <laughs> Jennifer Love Huge Tits. <laughs> Dude, I had her posters all over. Oh, my every guy did. Oh every guy did. Back it up. Back it up. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Okay. All right. We're trying to get steered back by the TP. <laughs> I don't know if anyone's ever caught me masturbating. I'm a, I'm very sly. <laughs> I'm, <laughs> I'm very a, sly. I'm a sly fox. You never been caught walked in on nothing. I remember. Nothing sticks out at me. That's bullshit. I mean, I've been caught having sex. Oh. And I've had to throw naked boyfriends in my closet. <laughs> <laughs> They're, still <laughs> yeah. They're still Their there. Their bones are still there. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to think. No, you guys have any uh, masturbatory stories? Oh, nope. well, you know what? It's easier for you girls because you could just like picture things in your mind and masturbate wherever you. We need picture we need porn we need we the- need visuals too no mm-hmm. i girls, love visuals you girls are all like in your head if, well if nothing else is available to me yes i will use my spank bank but i, I can't will- i can't do that all right when i was in my I early 20s a porn i was like i was like a teenage boy like i had i was always thinking about sex i was always masturbating i had a problem and i was living in a house with three other people we had like a big four bedroom house and there was no curtains in the front windows. So mm-hmm. when you pulled up to the house, you could see right into the living room. Well, I was home alone and it was before like internet porn was really big. So there was just like a lot of DVD porn in the house because I lived with on the two TV other dudes. In the living room. I was watching on the TV in the living room Damn. on the couch, getting down on myself. Damn. And all my roommates pulled up with their friends to like start like a backyard party. And they could see the porn playing in the living room, and they all sat there and waited for the TV to shut off because they knew that's when I was finished. Oh, and they burst into the house like, "You were fucking masturbating!" How long did they that's have very, to wait? That's considerate. That well, is I'm, very considerate. Well, no, it was, but they were waiting. It, it would have been worse if they burst in, I think. But they I actually would've, waited I for the TV totally to shut off. Busted in I was totally it. watching like a Jenna Jameson porn. It was one of my roommates too. Like I was watching one of their pornos, so they knew exactly what it was. That's awesome. Them. That's awesome. Did you were watching one of your roommates' porns? Yeah, because they were all over the place. Yeah, we had like a little, we had like a little collection. See, that's cool because guys don't share porns. Really? I live with two dudes. It was two guys. 
guys dude. and two girls. Really? I live with two guys and two girls. So it was like we had like a, a combined porn collection. Ooh, that's cool. Yeah, it was actually a really awesome. <laughs> no, living that's situation. really fucking cool. Because uh, the all the guys I knew, they would fucking hide and hoard their. No, porn. no, like, it was this a very is my, my porn, my porn. Now everybody you can't shared look at my porn. That's weird because all the guys I've ever known shared porn. Yeah, they're always swapping. Maybe I porn. lived with all assholes because I mean there was the network at at my college where you know everyone put porn up on the network and you can go into other people's folders and pull porn but as far as actual hard copies of them yeah they were like hidden see maybe relics. because i'm older than you are we used to <laughs> this we could be the have basis. shared folders we would actually s- swap porn yeah, this, could be the basis for, yeah, this could be the basis for world peace if we did this correctly seriously <laughs> we could bring the world together yes I we would. are the world <laughs> join hands but not the one you masturbated with <laughs> Where did you used to buy porn from? Uh, like porn DVDs and I would ac- I would actually go to a porn store really? and get DVDs. Yeah. I would go to Tower Records. We didn't have Tower Records where I was from. They had the porn section. Oh yeah. That. Did they I forgot really? about that? I would buy like a couple of CDs and then I throw in a couple of porn. <laughs> <laughs> Just, maybe they won't notice. Were you allowed? Did they let you? At the time I was in college. So oh was yeah, because they were pretty strict with that. My local thing. video oh, yeah. store, however, had the porn section with yes. the saloon doors. The, yeah. oh, I love the saloon doors. So awesome. And, and like, you see that like, shit. That was awesome. Which is fucked up because you go to the saloon you doors like and you see bag. the guy's head and his feet. <laughs> But you felt and like there was like no <laughs> privacy in there. And you felt like a freak though, yeah. like a dirt bag. Yeah. Like you were a dirty scumbag for going in there. And you would and walk would out. Freak, and you're like, <laughs> you could never yeah. look at LA Gears the same after yeah. that. Like, oh, that guy's a freak. <laughs> He's a freak. And you'd be like looking, you know, for like a Die Hard movie in Blockbuster. <laughs> it wasn't really Blockbuster, whatever it was. And you look over and you hear the creaking yeah. of the door and everyone would look. Yep. And you'd see the guy. It's like there was nothing very, what? what's the word I'm looking for? You have the shame. Well, it was nothing like private about it. No. It was just very. But not only that, you were the scumbag. Yeah. Like, oh, that guy. What, you know what he's doing later tonight. <laughs> or in my case, being like 21 that years also... old in between the saloon doors, <laughs> the guys are like, holy shit, there's a fucking girl in there. Yeah. I have this passport. No big deal. Now they're all jerking it to you. Yeah. yeah. It's a thought of. That was the noise. <laughs> <laughs> but that also gave me a, that gave me a rush to be in Tower Records in the porn section. Like I would get a rush, but at the same time, I would hastily pick something because I wanted to get out because yeah. I felt so like under pressure. I used to wander in that section. Nice. So you feel like you're being screwed. That was it. I'd wander in the Tower Records section, and I used to get creeped out because it was like just all dudes. Oh, and really? I was like a high school girl, and I'd be like, <laughs> I still own one of the DVDs awesome. that I bought at Tower Records. What is it? Do you remember? It's something. <laughs> something Sky. I forget her name. Something Sky. It's something. I think I want that sound on a loop well, next time I masturbate yeah. to remind me of the the thrill. Ah, oh, those are the days. <laughs> those, were, those were the days <laughs> when porn was only available on VHS. <laughs> Memories. Memories of the porn in Britney my mind. Sky. <laughs> Britney Sky. Sky yes. yes, best I of Britney Sky. Yes, I think she's dead now. <laughs> From the herbs. Rest in peace, Britney Sky. <laughs> she was hot. <sighs> so no, no Jeremy Irons. But she's, I have, um, she's with the angels now. <laughs> I have a really good story. Okay. <laughs> I'm waiting for a reaction. <laughs> I can't wait to hear it. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Angry Bird. So um, I'm hanging out in my casa uh, a few days ago, and I hear some ruckus going on. And <laughs> I look outside, and I have Truck Nuts is erecting a basketball hoop for his children. Who's Truck Nuts? Erecting. Truck Nuts, Paige, is my neighbor who has a truck with nuts hanging off the back of him. He sounds sexy. <laughs> a metal scrotum. <laughs> Hanging from the back of his motor vehicle. That just makes him more of a man. He's also mm. shaved head, short. Does he still wear Austin 316 t-shirts? Oh. Yeah, he is very... Nice. Good <laughs> <laughs> it, he's offensive to look at, but <laughs> more, more than that, he's offensive. Like, he, I told the story... Just his aura. I told a story on the uh, show once where he, like, full-blown hit on me at Dunkin' Donuts, and he said if if he wasn't married, he'd come knocking on my door, knocking down my door. Like, oh, yeah. yeah. He goes, you're looking good. And he's just staring at my ass. <laughs> it, was, it was really... Yeah, it was creepy. 
drug nuts frequented the adult section at <laughs> yes, he oh, through video. Coming through her door. <laughs> come and knock on my door. My door does not sound like that. I'll be waiting for you. I'll be waiting for you. Hers and hers and his three's company too. TP is stabbing himself. <laughs> so, so anyway, he's very, very. Oh, Mr. Ritter. He's very gross. <laughs> he's just, why are you whispering? Like he's outside your window. The window's open. I heard you say truck nuts. Are you talking about it's me over there? It's like Beetlejuice. Don't say truck nuts three times. He <laughs> might show up in here. And he walks up and in down. You. <laughs> what the? Oh. All of a sudden. Truck <laughs> nuts it's hurts. Truck this, truck this, truck truck. Sex slave is enough, no? Okay. <laughs> you talking about me in there? You say it three times, you're going to have a, a metal pair of truck nuts bouncing <gasps> right on your Right on your head. <laughs> right on your forehead. <laughs> Teabagged with truck nuts. <laughs> you're going to whack you across the forehead. <laughs> Truck bagged. <laughs> Truck bagged. All right. So he's gross and he marches <laughs> up and down the sidewalk and he screams on the phone all the time and he's constantly screaming, fuck. It's just because he wants you to come out of your he's house. He's just an asshole. So anyway, I hear a ruckus and he's <laughs> erecting a basketball hoop for his kid. And there are about five five men on his front lawn and they're unloading his truck. And it's all these pieces of a basketball hoop. On his front lawn. <laughs> and, about. Um, I hear them like assembling it, and I was babysitting my niece. I'm like, okay, and she's like, oh, they're putting up a basketball hoop. I said, yeah. Were, and you, were you guys eating nuggets? <laughs> no. No nuggets. Not that. Not yet. On the couch. We Segway were good. alert. So all of us. <laughs> that well, was foreshadowing. <laughs> <laughs> All of a sudden, she screams, Aunt Stacy, that man has no legs. <laughs> but and she's saying, Dan, you ain't got no legs. <laughs> and she screams it out the window <laughs> towards the man. And I go, what? And I look out, and there's a man who looks like he's standing in a very deep hole in the grass. Doing all the work. He's in quicksand. <laughs> Because all I see is just a torso. <laughs> and my niece was like, I thought he was just sitting. She's like, but then I saw him hopping across the lawn. Oh so that's how he moved. He hopped. He right. just thrusted his no! torso up. No. Like, uh, yes. No. Yes. I like, was uh, watching him maneuver himself around. Yes. Now, I wonder, I wonder if that hurts. Well, there's, there's like so many. My niece is like, what kind of pants does he buy? <laughs> well, she had like 20, does, so many questions. Does he need pants? I didn't have any answers for her. I'm like, I don't know. Don't you just get a, a big dipping dipping sauce to put in? I mean, yes, I, ladies listen. and gentlemen, he's a magical half nugget. Listen. <laughs> that, and now this was I've on the heels enough. of our nugget conversation. Right. That's crazy. And I was like, my mind blew up. And I'm like, holy. And then, so he's assembling some of the, I felt sad. Really sad now, wait a minute. Him. Is he sitting upright or is he laying on his stomach? No, he's sitting he upright, on, balanced on, on the torso. Whoa. And so he has to be in charge of all the lower screws. <laughs> I'm, I'm well, assuming. someone said the irony of the nugget assembling like the basketball hoop. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> someone said that to me. I don't remember who when I told the story. So I, I was like, whatever. So he's putting together. You know, the stuff. And then my niece screams, I don't think his arms are normal either. <laughs> and the poor man has <laughs> one normal arm and a baby arm. Oh, no. Did he have the little chicken wing? The baby arm. Oh, shit. Ooh. And he's doing the majority of the yes! labor? Nuts is going, I want this thing. And blah, blah, blah. and he's like barking out of orders. And I was just like, this I immediately start taking pictures. You think he waxed off with the uh, the T Rex arm? Did he have one of those arm? arms? <laughs> yeah. Oh no, that's really really disturbing. Oh. How did you like? How did you get that picture so quickly? I had this one in the chamber. <laughs> Talk <laughs> about files. She's got them. Huh? <laughs> Could you imagine getting stroked by a little T Rex arm like that? <laughs> it's more. It's not even a T Rex arm. It's like a little chicken wing. Look little, at it. Little it's like a little wing. You think you could stick that up your it's bum? Like a little wing. You think you'd you like that? You could put some sauce Just on put it. Put it right in your bum <laughs> and eat it while you watch football. So I, I had to tell you guys that because you know. <laughs> 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 Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I had to tell you because it involved oh, truck God. nuts and it involved 
nuggets. That is so Here, crazy. Here's the picture. Here's the best picture of the nugget. Dude, seriously. Oh my god! <laughs> Holy shit! If I was a nugget, I would dress like a McDonald's nugget all the time. He's a black nugget. <laughs> He's burnt. He's dark My niece calls him. He's a dark meat him nugget. The, he's he's burnt. A, he's a man with, a, <laughs> with slightly brown skin. <laughs> slightly brown. There's nothing slight about that. <laughs> well done. Well done, nugget. And look at him go. He's sitting outside the van. He's assembling he's the upright. basketball hoop. He's in an upright position. This happened outside your home? You you don't understand. On the heels of us talking about nuggets, I I was like, this can't be wow. happening. This is a little little nugget little nugget from God. <laughs> <laughs> It is a little chocolate nugget on your lawn. <laughs> <laughs> a little nugget. Yeah, it really looks like he's he's trapped in the concrete. Right. I thought- <laughs> <laughs> it looks like he's standing in a ditch. Right. Right? Oh now, we God. didn't get hate mail for Oreos. <laughs> and I, I we love- don't get hate mail from this. Now, we know nobody listens I'm to I'm sorry. Us. I just flipped a little further, and I love the picture of your niece looking out the window, <laughs> <laughs> observing... Oh, <laughs> observing the nugget you mean, <laughs> with her little friend that was visiting. Right. They're both anxiously like, head, head on chin, just kind of watching the show. <laughs> they are observing the whole show. Yeah, exactly. Riveted. Yeah. Loving Riveted. every moment of the nugget. No show. toy, no game we could top what was going on outside no way. my window. They were loving every minute. You should have called me. I would have brought wine. You, yeah, and I then I was put Big in the position. Box of wine. I'm, I was put in position where I'm like, well, girls, you know, this is a um, this is a really important moment. We could talk about disabilities, and um, yeah, you have to be the you asshole. know, like I had a job make, on Stacy trying to make a lesson. I had, to make, I had to make it a teachable moment because they were like, he's got new legs. I'm like, well, let's think about all the obstacles he has to overcome in life. Like you know, cause like I didn't being want- friends with truck nuts, first of all. Yeah, <laughs> crazy. How does he get on a toilet? <laughs> Does he have a squatty body? <laughs> Just trying to find. Would he my... have a use for a squatty body? Speaking of squatty body, trying to find my sea legs. Speaking squatty of squatty potty, body. our contest continues. Please send us in a what is it? A sex story involving feces, or send me pictures on my Twitter account because I will give you bonus points. At throbbing arm, so you can send it to Stacy at Riotcast or TP at Riotcast or Why You Suck at Riotcast or better yet, or nine seven eight five zero three suck. Mm. Call us, and the best story wins. What's it called? Squatty potty Squatty. combo. Pack, Party, pooping pack. Uh, Cohen <laughs> act or something. Dude, there's a bidet in the shit. <laughs> Send yeah. stories. Starfish it's called pack. The Better Bathroom Experience. There you go. It includes a squatty potty, a bidet, and, a potty. and good move colon care. Look at that. The contest is sponsored by Squatty Potty, but we're not sponsored by Squatty Potty. Just the Cohen. contest. Yeah. Just making that clear for the Squatty Potty people. <laughs> <laughs> once again, they, they, don't, they once do again. not. They enjoy us they to a point. They do not sponsor us. Right. There's a point. But we love them so much. Um, so there's our... They Here's our little um, contest, and you have a contest that you're sponsoring, John. Oh yeah, I wanna, I want the best bachelor party story ideas for me when I'm planning this bachelor party. He needs help planning a party. I need help. I am asking, I am begging. Please send me things. And the prize for this one is is a night with the John. Oh yeah, come to the fucking bachelor party, fucking a. If you're in the New York area, why the fucking hell not? a? Why the hell not? He will a. slap your puss. You get the fucking, <laughs> you get to see the throbbing arm in person. Just one, because I have a chicken wing on the other. <laughs> <one>. <laughs> I only have one full-grown arm. We need go go build me a basketball hoop. That's why like it's chickens. That's why it's throbbing arm and not arms. Wow, I was wondering if you're ever going to tell them listeners that. <laughs> Mystery that's, revealed. That's why he works in a food store. That's right. I'm that, he I'm, stocks with one arm. I'm the guy that's pushing the sh- carts back to the one arm store. The one arm, <laughs> one arm. Boy. wing. With one wing, I do masturbate with the T-Rex arm though. <laughs> because it's closer to my body. <laughs> the other one's too big and strong. Your dick must be huge. <laughs> I pull my dick right off with the <laughs> regular. <laughs> he does crunches while he masturbates. I kind of crunch up, and my dick <laughs> comes up on my I'm chest. I'm so upset people can't see what you're doing <laughs> right the- now. <laughs> oh, my God. You, you, again, can I tell you how sexy you are? <laughs> <laughs> Have we told you lately? <laughs> Have I told? How fucking hot you are. <laughs> mm-hmm. All right, oh, let's God. do some Stacy shit because this is just getting out of control. Out of control. It's the twisted T and the poor trucker. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and there's another. Um, I had another. My neighbor 
Remember the one that tried to get me to go to church with him as a hit, as a come on when he was trying to hit on me? He has, he did another technique the other day. He said he wanted to come over uh, in, the middle, rape you. in the middle of the night and make sure I was okay. Whoa. Because he heard a running noise sound and he thought I was drowning. My toilet was running. And he said he could hear it through the wall. He wanted to come over and check on me in the middle of the night. He heard running water and he assumed you were drowning. Yep. I have to move here. That's I'm a bit of a stretch. It's time to leave the neighborhood. <laughs> You're a douche. The fact that he has his ear to your wall and he can hear running <laughs> With <a> water. Cup. <laughs> Isn't that weird? In Wait. the name of Jesus, did I he, must come over and help this did lady. He, did he offer to give you a, a walkie-talkie so that you can yeah. communicate? It? <laughs> or a baby monitor. Yeah. yeah. That'll be next. Or a small camera. He All might right. have a camera in your fucking Come on, Stacey shit. All right, so remember we had that whole contest about, you know, nicknames for the vagina and the penis? It was fucking awful. That's because I wasn't here. Well, <laughs> here is some <laughs> names. I can't believe that you didn't come up with the fuck it bucket. Well, here's some names you can call your lady garden. Are you ready? I'm going to read through them. You tell me if you have any favorites. Rose, Rosebush. The Bearded Princess. <laughs> Clasping Buttress. Is that how you say that word? Buttress. 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 Yeah. I never knew how to say that word. That's the a war- no. The Wardrobe to Narnia. <laughs> That's pretty good. Vag- that pretty Vagisaurus. Good. Va- <laughs> Vagisaurus Rex. <laughs> Disco Flaps. The Victory Garden. The Disco no- Flaps. The, the Notorious VAG. That's good. <laughs> That's very I like good. that one. The Raspberry Cave. No. The Ruby Fruit Jungle. The Raspberry no. Cave. Oh, but you like it. I like. Grundle. No, Grundle's not no, for the vagina. Grundle is the space. Grundle is like the taints. That's right, not. the taints. I know. I know. It's not your fault. I Incorrect. I, this Frankenmuff. This one's my favorite. <laughs> Henry would love this one. The crumpet. <laughs> <laughs> the crumpet. My lasagna. No. Moon cup vessel. The velvet snapper. Yeah, I've heard that. The creamery. The creamery. The honey badger. No. Major Tom. No. Fiddly bits. <laughs> Maybe. Baldy Capaldi. Any- no, no bush. Anything with bits in it is probably funny. Princess Mufflepuff. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> yes, Very I good. like that one. Muffin protector. No. Paradise Slice. Jazz Cafe. That's, about, that's pretty funny. How about Vertical Smile? Baby that's Cave. Old. This one I love, Gandalf. Gandalf. I do not want my vagina referred to as a wizard ever. <laughs> shall not pass. <laughs> you shall not Flappy pass. Schlong Stocking. The Great Chulu. The Duke. Golden <laughs> Virginia. Giggle Box. The Duke. Did I hear that correct? Love <laughs> the Great Divide, the great Div- Overlord yeah. Snigglebottoms, Hogwarts, Hogwarts, Vagissimo, Grand Canyon, Whisker Biscuit, <laughs> the Fertile Delta, Downtown Bonanza. That one's a Dane Cook reference. L- Lips Incorporated, <laughs> <laughs> Mrs. Sprinkles, <laughs> Bear, Bear Grills, University of Michigan. What? <laughs> Vagina Mite. Vagina Mike. Strawberry Muller Corner. Lord Volvamort. Cute. Uh, there's a lot of Harry Potter references. Excelsior. I love vagina. These are. This is obviously this list was made by someone who doesn't get laid. Lost Valley of the Dinosaurs. What? Hippos yawn. <laughs> <laughs> Mermaid Purse. <gasps> the Twilight Zone. Mermaid Purse. Cinnamon Portal. The Situation Room, Mixed Pickle, Fluffy Mutton Action Button, Chonky Dingle Pips, Crotch Puppet, Wanna Put It In My Puddin', The Great Barrier Queef, <laughs> Polly Pocket, Ape Tit mm, Stone Clip, Tuna Fish, George W., <laughs> Beaverville, Tender Slot Machine, <laughs> Slot Machine's good, Huggy Bear, That one I'll give, Sweet Niblets, <laughs> Tea Cake. All right, we done with this. Okay, my two, my two favorites. We're are, not done yet. Oh, there's more. Go on, don't let me stop you. Heathcliff, <laughs> Electric Tinker Bell, Home Entertainment Center, uh, Blu-ray Player, Benedict Cumberbatch, <laughs> Front Office, Squish Mitten, Front Office, Juggle of Love, The Bottlenose Flan Flan, 
Scara, Scara Majita, Girl Town, Bumba Clark, the, the Channel Tunnel, the Channel Tunnel, Baroness Von Poontang. It just keeps going, doesn't it? Brandy Snap, Wet Lettuce. Wet <laughs> Lettuce. I like that one. Um Bongo, oh, Blunderbuss. God. Honky Tonk, Badonka Donk, Count Flap. Oh, no, Badonka Donk's an ass. Count Flapula. <laughs> <laughs> that's, a, that's a loose puss face. <laughs> Night Prowler. Wormy, wormy, wormy. Fruit, <laughs> fruit of the sea. Cosmic Oyster. The Spasm Chasm. <laughs> Lady Cake. Okay. Lady Cake. That's it. All right, my votes <laughs> are Notorious VAG. Yes. And Hippo's Yawn. That's all. <laughs> Hippo's Yawn. <laughs> That's fucking brilliant. Which one? Hippo Hippo's yawn. yawn. That's the one? I like crumpet. So That's funny. That's the standout? <laughs> the crumpet. And the tea cake. The crumpet and the tea cake. <laughs> With a side of schmeg. Schmeg. <laughs> Let's see. What about names of the male genitalia? I didn't find a whole list yet. I'll look. I'll There's look. so it's, many. Yeah. They're we, funnier. Vaginas are funnier, though. <laughs> Hippo yawn. Yeah, I, I'd <laughs> give you that. <laughs> It totally looks like one. <laughs> Thankfully, mine doesn't look like that. Mine does. Mine doesn't. Does, you, does yours have teeth? <laughs> yeah. That's nice. Yep. That's a good movie. We should watch that one, too. And it likes to swim. Women <laughs> sue, sues Georgia City over law banning sex toys. What? Says they saved her marriage. Fuckers. Melissa Davenport says sex toys That's helped save name. her 24-year-old marriage after multiple sclerosis destroyed her nervous system and her sex life. The Sandy Springs ordinance only allows residents to buy sex toys if they have a prescription for them. <laughs> Are you fucking kidding what? me? Where is this? Georgia. Fucking. Oh, I thought you said Sioux City. Where was that? Um, I don't know what the Sioux City's in Sandy Iowa? Springs. What the Jesus fuck? Jesus Christ. Dude. Seriously. They're all repressed and shit. It's like footloose, but sex toys. Yeah. So she basically said the toys saved her marriage of 24 years after the disease destroyed her sex life. And, and what does that prescription look like? <laughs> <laughs> it's just a, a picture of a dick and oh, balls oh, on a bed. Kind of a doctor Give her toys. <laughs> With a buzz. <laughs> no doctor will prescribe sex you toys for her. Little lines. <laughs> exactly, the little buzz. action lines. <laughs> but if you go to a doctor for sex toys, you're going to the wrong place. <laughs> like, you're, you're doing oh it wrong. Oh my God. <laughs> you're doing it wrong. Doctor, I I need some vibrators. Can you please write me a Here's prescription? My Here, this one. So then they had that work. <laughs> the lawsuit includes a second plaintiff. Can you go Marshall. to CBS and turn in that prescription? Marshall Henry. They and come out with a big black dildo <laughs> in the back. Um, I was prescribed the black dildo, not the white dildo. I didn't ask for generic. I asked for the name brand. Thank you. I wanted to what's, actually what's work. The on this dildo? <laughs> You you hand the prescription there. They they punch for like five minutes in the computer. What's your birthday? Uh, zip code. And then uh, they're like, I I gotta go see the stock. Do you want? Do you want to wait for this or do you want to come back? They're like, do you want the name brand or the generic? And they hold up a big black dildo and a big white dildo. No, I'm paying for name brands. Thank you. You can give me the name brand. I really need it. <laughs> It's not in a box. I bet you they have to go like through. You probably have to go through a creepy um, door at the pharmacy to get it. <laughs> Ten speed or one speed? It all depends what kind of insurance you have. What are you talking? The doctor only gave me one speed. What the fuck, dude? Sorry, your insurance doesn't cover the ten speed. I apologize. Would Obamacare cover this? <laughs> Obamacare would fucking cover that shit. <laughs> Definitely. Totally. Obama would be like, give him the high class. Obama be like, give him the black one. Yeah. Come in the back. Please walk through the back, please. <laughs> give him the Obama. John, we got another prescription for sex toy. <laughs> Oh, please walk through those doors, man. Wait. <laughs> Johnimal more ass play toys? <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> well, listen, so they have a second plaintiff in the lawsuit, named a guy named Marshall Henry. He's an artist who uses sex toys in his work, and he claims his artwork has suffered due to his inability to buy what. Oh, no. That's material. his muse. Yep. The toys are his muse. I get it. Yeah, so. mine too. You <sighs> liberal fucks. Isn't this the f most fucked up thing? That's crazy. Liberal fucks. The fact that you can't... That's ridiculous. You, <laughs> what country do you live in? Fuck. I feel a rant brewing. Do you know what's going on? Yeah. 
even. I can't. I can't. June twenty eighth in Pennsylvania. Do you have any idea what's going on? No. Well, it's not masturbation month anymore, so I don't know. It is the Naked Beer Fest. Naked beer or naked beer? It's in, called in this country. Bear Beach Beer Bash. It's not in this country. Pennsylvania. Pennsylvania. Pennsylvania is in our country. It includes all you can drink beer samples. Why don't we go? June twenty eighth. Let's go. All you have to do is be completely naked, dude. And Pennsylvania. You can, it's all you could drink. On. June twenty eighth. That's where Bruno is. He's gonna go. Probably. We can go to that. It's from one to five p.m. After which there's a night. Let me just burn off this party. ten pounds of winter depression, and I'm, like, I'm <laughs> good to go. You're fluffy. <laughs> I'm fluffy. <laughs> Give me some beer. I'm extra fluffininos. <laughs> it's two hours from New York. It's Pennsylvania's favorite clothes free resort. What? Set Admits the lush Pocono Mountains. The resort offers 190 acre, 90 acres of hills, beautiful view, and a cor- and lots of naked people. Of course, it's the Poconos. All ages, genders, races, and body types. The are land owned. of champagne-shaped hot tubs. Sunny Rest Resort, it's called. Hmm. So we going June twenty eighth. Yeah, let's. I don't go. really like beer that much. <laughs> That's your reason <laughs> for not wanting to go. You know, I have no problem being naked. I'm not a publicly, big fan of beer, but. <laughs> Would you do it, John? You know, he's already there in his mind. He's like, yeah. oh, yeah. I'd love to say yes, but at the same time, it's like I bet it's a super sausage party. I think it's also and ugly. A lot of ugly people. Bad to, sausage. To be exactly. quite honest, it's like I don't know. For for me, it would be a little weird walking around naked. I don't know. <laughs> I just think I'd be <laughs> self conscious. Hey, you got a bottle opener? Right here. <laughs> <laughs> just <laughs> stick it right under my nuts. Because, I mean, I'm gorgeous and everything, but I still think I'd be <laughs> self-conscious. <Gorgeous. laughs> I'm so gorgeous. You know, walking around, everyone's looking at my junk. Uh, you yeah. know, but I don't think anyone would be. Like, I think no, these I people think so are either. pros. I think they're just I, like being naked. I bet you not all the people there are pros, though. I bet you there are a large group of people there that are Are we overthinking this? Let's just go. Probably. We got to bring the masks, though. Mm. I don't think, I don't think that would be considered clothing. Would it be? What if we say it's for medical use? Yeah. We have a Can we get a Because <laughs> I, I really want to wear that unicorn mask. Like, oh, really, man. We got to get those so masks. Pissed. You called dibs in the unicorn. <laughs> all right. So here, a study says your spouse's porn habit might not be so harmless after all. My spouse's <laughs> or mine? <laughs> you, uh, were you waiting for a bump, bump, bump? Oh, I was waiting for something. You guys like, whatever. <laughs> what? um, Nobody you know cares. What? Your face said it all. I love... Wait, <laughs> Superman is drenched right now. Look at him. Holy from, shit. Look at him. He's all glistening. What is he doing? He was... I think he was... I can't handle those shoes. The They're wand. too hot. <laughs> <laughs> He's playing the Superman music for you. <laughs> is it raining outside? <laughs> What's up? A dance. You know, he won't speak. Don't speak, I know just <laughs> what you're saying, so please stop explaining. Uh, don't tell me because it hurts, no, don't speak. I feel like you're serenading me right now, it makes me happy. <laughs> just don't say comes. Just don't her. say comes. <laughs> Is she perverted like me? Would she go down on you in a theater? <laughs> Did she speak eloquently? And would she have your baby? I thought she'd make a really excellent mother. I think I just pissed my pants. (laughs) (laughs) I thought I was a seat. Oh, fuck. Holy shit. What do you think, Paige? Uh, Lance Moore's set cover band. What do you think? I'll be right back. (laughs) It's in the work. She's got a peace day now. (laughs) Peace It's in the work, Paige. We're going to call you pee-pee pants. Think about it. Think about it. Lance Morissette, cover band. Think about it while you're on the squatty potty. <laughs> She's never coming back. She's in the bathroom. She's climbing out the window. <laughs> Get a run home. All right. Oh, shnikes. Oh, you want to hear about this? So uh, there's a study published in the Psychology of Popular Media Culture. It concluded that the more a person watches porn, the more likely they are to be accepting of extramarital affairs. Ooh. Researchers used data from 551 married cu- adults 
collected by the General Social Survey, the only national personal interview survey examining social beliefs in the United States. Not a lot of people, very small fucking pool of data. In order to determine their porn consumption, participants were asked questions like, have you seen an X-rated movie in the last year? And then to gauge their thoughts on cheating, they were asked, what's your opinion about a married person having sexual relations with someone other than the marriage partner? After examining the responses, researchers noted that the results were clear. Pornography consumption Consumption Clear. was associated with more positive subsequent extramarital sex attitudes. Yeah, but even, you know, I mean, first of all, the, the fucking number of people they study is beyond small. 551 is not small. No, it's not. If you're going to take that it's not informa- small. If you're going to take that it's information small. and extrapolate it to an entire population. They're not. They're, and they're not saying it's a causation. It's correlated with Extra mar- like more free. No, they're saying it's clearly. No, they're saying, not. They, you read the word. It said clearly shows associated, blah, which is bullshit. not causation. Correlation. Correlated my balls. <laughs> <laughs> you got Jude, son. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Do you want to know why seventy three percent of of women say they stray? I want to know why you stick that microphone right on your chin like that. You just shove it right. That's why he has to disinfect them. Yep. It's because yeah. you fucking shovel it in your face. You know what? Don't pretend it doesn't turn you on. It does. That's why I have to say something about it. All right. Do you want to know the, what women say? The reason they cheat? Why do women cheat? They polled 6,000 women. That, see, that's at least a decent number compared to 550. And a whopping 73% of the ladies said the chief reason they cheated was because they were annoyed by their partner's character flaws, character flaws and behavior. Yeah, Fucking and slow. follow-up question. The number you- one complaint? He has no legs. <laughs> Fucking He's a slut. nugget. <laughs> a lack, Number one complaint. A, a lackluster <laughs> sense of humor. Fucking cheating horse. <laughs> really? 19%. And I follow a question. Do any of these fucking assholes say, tell their counterpart any of these issues that they have? Probably not. Okay. 19% says he lacks a sense of humor. Well, how do you fucking say, sluts. baby, listen. You're not funny. You're, you're not fucking funny. And you funny. never have been. <laughs> Fucking sluts. Well, at least address the... If it's going to be an issue... That's What's gonna he going to do? Take comedy lessons? If it's going to be an issue that's going to cause you to cheat... <laughs> do a podcast. Im- Im- improv class? If it's going to be the reason, like, if it's going to be why you justify cheating, then don't you think it's worth bringing up in some way, shape, or form? Like a man has ever brought up a situation like that when they've cheated on their girlfriends or wives. Men, it's very simple. Usually it's you like... You don't get funnier. I'm going to cheat on you. <laughs> <laughs> It's like, dude, you you need to go to a gym or something. You know, come on. Is that the conversation, dude, comma? You, you need, need to go to, to the gym. gym? Yeah, or with my wife, it was like, you know, you had the kid two years ago. Oh my! Ouch! Oh, it's about time. This is why I'm not married. I hate him. <laughs> but you know what? You can't use that fucking that reasoning forever like oh, there's like six just, different reasons why a woman would cheat on a man i just had a well baby. let me let, let me tell you the, the list okay these are the top reasons oh wow he oh, lacks a sense that was of, ironic <laughs> i didn't expect that to happen okay. he lacks a sense of humor is he one doesn't listen he's to not me. understanding enough is two he doesn't listen he's to not me. good in bed is three Ooh. he lacks good manners Four. <laughs> what? What? Oh, okay. <laughs> so why are you with them then? Fucking dump them. He's lazy and he doesn't have any life plans. So dump them. He doesn't care about his appearance and has poor hygiene. He's not successful. He doesn't pay enough attention to details and social obligations. Okay, that is... He's unable to clean up after himself and he's a mama's boy. Ugh. And he... <laughs> He's stingy. Stingy is not high. Stingy oh, is like my God. such a turn off. Such a turn off. So again, my point, instead of cheating, dump them and then it, then it's not even a fucking issue. But if you can't afford to be on your own? Then fuck you because you're <laughs> leeching on a guy for fucking money. You fucking skank. <laughs> oh, seriously. God. Like my the the fucking girl that that I just got out of a relationship with. It was like always bitching about like, oh, I don't have the money to do this. I don't have the money to do that. Well, I'm paying for all of your shit anyway. So what are you bitching about? Like, oh, let's go out to dinner tonight, babe. Uh, I don't have the money for dinner. Like, I'm going to make you pay. Like, seriously. I'm going to fucking make Oy you pay. Oi, babe, really? there was a sale today. <laughs> exactly. Superman makes me pay. You know what? You, you <laughs> see the face? Look at 
He's not even listening. Every once in a while. He also has the smallest penis I've ever seen. <laughs> <laughs> he is definitely not listening. Wow. What's he's he watching playing? a lacrosse game. What's he playing? He's watching a lacrosse game. Oh, I thought he was playing video Superman, games. if you hear me, give me the finger. There it is. Oh, nice. There it is. Did back. you hear what I said? He doesn't care. No, he didn't hear. Which he makes him awesome. He's Dude. awesome. He doesn't give a fuck. I love he's like, that. like, whatever, that penis gets you off. <laughs> I love that, <laughs> that you guys don't give a fuck about each other. <laughs> <laughs> That's romance. That is the healthiest relationship. It's you true. Can be in. It's true. We're I not up each other's assholes. You just don't give a fuck. Whatever. Just like, do whatever, whatever you gotta do. Whatever, dude. Take me out once in a while. You doing your podcast? <laughs> no. Buy me some fucking dinner. Seriously. <laughs> Take me out for Brussels sprouts. <laughs> <laughs> Those are some good Brussels sprouts, right, honey? Yeah, they're still stinking up your goddamn... He just flipped you off again. He <laughs> doesn't even know what you're talking about. <laughs> oh, easy there, fella. Knock it over my twisted teeth. All right, I have so to pee now. everyone knows that stress is bad for your health. Yeah. But you know what they just found out? That a stress... You pee-pee smaller. <laughs> that a stressful <laughs> marriage can actually increase the risk of premature death in men. That's so true. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. So, a study using 9,875 <laughs> Danish men and women. Danish. <laughs> age 36. <laughs> Isn't that Italian? I'm hungry for Danish. Age 30. I like cheese Danish. Yes. Mm. Or raspberry. <laughs> raspberry. It's another name for a hippo's yawn. <laughs> the old cheese The raspberry Danish. Danish. And crumpets. You dirty whore. Tea cake. Age 36 to 52. They collected this data and they published it. In the Journal of Epide- Epidemiology and Community Health. How do they get these grants? Jesus Christ. I know. They tracked their health from 2000 to 2011. So it was longitudinal. So this seems pretty legit. That word you just use is legit. <laughs> Damn, girl. Participants were surveyed about stressful people and scenarios in their lives. And the questions included, in your everyday life, do you experience that any of the following people demand too much of you or seriously worry you? Do you experience conflicts with any of the following people? So anyway, by the end of the 11-year study, 196 women and 226 men had Whoa, died. Such a big <laughs> pool of Asshole, they, it was out of 9,875 people. All right, that's better. All right. <laughs> Using the data and the survey data, they found that the men's risk of death increased when they were currently in the stressful marriage. I believe that. Mm-hmm. That's why I got divorced. You know what? That smell, that's the Brussels sprouts. It is. I oh, just- I smell it again. <laughs> Oh, I opened the fridge. Yep. That's right. I uh, just got the Superman, beer. Superman, we were convinced that was your manure outside we smell. The it's smell. the Brussels the sprouts Brussels in the sprouts. refrigerator. That's nasty, dude. That's nasty. Damn, it Maybe sounds... It, ironic does, it smells like old ball sack. email about using the Veep for men and he stuck Brussels oh, sprouts. Oh, yeah, the Brussels sprouts. Up his ass. Ass. Was it a Brussels sprout? To curb the pain. Or was it broccoli? No, no it was Brussels sprouts. sprouts. It was Brussels. Isn't it ironic? Isn't it? Think? Isn't it ironic? Don't you think? It's like rain. A little too ironic. And yeah, I really do think. It's like rain on your wedding day. It's a free ride when you're already there. It's a good advice that you just can't take. Who would have thought with figures? So good. Mr. Play it safe. So good. Is afraid to it's still going. I'm he sorry. packs his suitcase. <laughs> All right, I'll stop. <laughs> just kids, goodbye. You yeah. make me weep. Uh, I love 90s fucking music. <laughs> <laughs> I can't wait until we put your CD together. I have a really good poop story. I want to put together a John Will's Greatest Hits on cassette. <laughs> Ooh, yeah. <laughs> Will there be a B-side? <laughs> there definitely be a B-side. <laughs> nice. All right. Cops flush out mystery pooper after weird and deliberate defecations on a park slide. <laughs> oh, my on God. A park slide. Nice. That's a good place. Henry used to do that. Yep. People, police in Michigan have successfully deterred the infamous mystery pooper from defecating <laughs> on a park slide. <laughs> Take that, kitties. Yep. Salanti police made contact with the unidentified suspect following a streak of what officials called (laughs) weird and deliberate defecations on the same playground slide between November 2013 and April 2014. The individual's identity has not been revealed and no charges have been filed. Police said the suspect is a resident of a halfway house near the park. (laughs) Police say no additional defecations have occurred since they made <laughs> That's contact. That's a lot of poop. <laughs> it's great that the police were it's able streak. to put a stop to this now that the weather has warmed up. 
<laughs> what he was doing it in the cold? <laughs> you get, uh, you now that's looking on the brighter side of life. Hmm. <laughs> And we lived in a civilized society now where we don't poop on slides. That's sucked up. All right. This is a good one. Are you ready? What is the scandalous thing moms were doing the day after Mother's Day? Breastfeeding. That's not scandalous. Uh, <laughs> Anal? Anal. <laughs> Fucking their sons. AshleyMadison.com. The infamous, <laughs> <laughs> the infamous extramarital dating site. Oh, rep- bullshit. They're going to say they're all cheating. Reported the day after Tuesday Mother's that day. nearly 17,000 mothers signed up the day after Mother's Day. A 431% increase from typical Monday on the page. That doesn't mean they're married. The site's founder says the uptick in signups has everything to do with unmet expectations from the holiday. What? While Mother's Day might not have the implicit romance factor of Valentine's Day or an anniversary, it's a holiday that compels women to reflect on their relationships. It's a made-up holiday by Hallmark. That's kind of ridiculous. Way to ruin marriage is Mother's Day. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Good job, Hallmark. Yeah, you fucking... I thought that was interesting. Hallmark ruined my life. I'll show him. <laughs> they probably <laughs> sign up, and it says that they have kids, because when you're on the site, you're looking for certain well, persons. Yeah, having kids, though, and... Being in a relationship, two different. No, but Ashley Madison is a cheater site, so you have to be in a relationship to sign up. Yeah, but can't you just sign up if you just want to get laid? I guess can't you just say you're in a relationship just to be on the site? Maybe. I mean, I don't really know how it works. Why do you have to be cheating to be on the site? Well, I'm just that's that's what the site's whole thing is about. I'm going on the website right now. I'm sure there's no prerequisite. You you don't have to show your marriage license or something. What was that sex slave? I'm not married though. Yeah, married men are the target audience. She's she's correct. So it's women who want to bang married men, then? Was or married women that want to bang married men. Okay. Right, but you don't have to necessarily be married to be looking for married men. I signed up on SugarDaddy.com once. That's the one where... Rich dudes. Married... Got, no, not, that's the no, same rich guys. people with money that want to pay Rich dudes looking for crazy girls is basically what it is. I think that's mm-hmm. cool. Did you meet anyone? I got some very interesting emails, but I never followed through with anyone because it seemed like a little too creepy. Mm. Why don't you guys set up fucking accounts on these sites and then we can read some of the awesome emails that you get? I'll do it. I think that was TP's idea Indeed. like about Which five was. years ago. I'll totally do it. <laughs> Can we, can we do You and Callie, I suggested it. He did. our first show, and you never did. He's right. He did. You can, put right, up, so. you can put up a bunch of pictures, like, without your I'll faces do it. or whatever. And sure. Just Let's ch- both do it. Okay. Because, you know... What do we want to do? In, do we want to do Ashley Madison? I think we, SugarDaddy.com definitely brings in some freaks. Okay. I think we should do that one, sugar too. SugarDaddy.com. What else? And then let's do a normal one for, like, a variable. Let's do, like, a um, match or, like, plenty of fish or something like what that. What do you think? Because well, you're all over that shit. Well, here's the thing. Now that I'm back on the market, I was going to bring up the fact that I think... I'm, once the summer starts and I only have the kids like half the time, I'm thinking about going back out. Unfortunately, I, what else am I going to do? Am fucking I gonna do, do it. I got to do match. What else am I going to do? Exactly. What, what who else cares? Do? You can't do Incest fucking. is best. Put your sister to the test. You can't do <laughs> eHarmony. That's she where all the old people are. Oh, is it really? I don't even know. Yeah, yeah. it's old. Um, I don't like eHarmony. They don't like gays. But I was going to ask. So you guys need to do this, but I was going to ask. You need to you. start coming to some shows with me. Okay. Yes. True. Look at Paige. There is so much puss she to is. slap. I will. Because she attracts you up. hot puss. I was gonna throw out a question. <laughs> Thanks, baby. Oh, question. Your puss is so hot. <laughs> question to you. I like that you put your leg up when you did that. Wake my putt. <laughs> and this ties into something that Angel said a couple of episodes ago. I keep so, my pussy in a case. I'm a dude. I'm going back out there. I'm You've got start, so many good ones. I'm going to start dating again. Advice from ladies for guys back out on the market. You don't need advice. You know what to do. You you do we have fine a lot on of your listeners. own. We have a lot of listeners out there. Oh, I, and in general, I think just, for, your, just, for I'm yourself. Just throwing that out there as a thing. So they want you to give you advice. You want be funny. So you your said, wives don't leave you. <laughs> I thought you said you're okay, Spider. Improv class. Improv class. No, I got that reference. You got it. I thought you said you'd be okay. I'm okay, no, Spider. No, you said you. No, okay, I thought you. Uh, I thought you said I'm Listen, okay, will you stop it? with your movies from the 20s already? <laughs> I'm so <laughs> that movie! That movie is like my lifeblood. What movie? Goodfellas. Oh, all right. It's amazing. I didn't even pick up on that. I, I love thought, Goodfellas. I thought, I thought I said you... No, I thought you, said, you said I was all right. I, I was no, a, you're not fucking all right. right. I, I'm all right. You're Spider, not all right. he's played by Chris Moltisante from oh, The Oh, yes, yes, yes. Okay. It's, he's a little wow, boy. I'm Such a little ashamed of myself. Reference. Who makes that reference, though? I make it all the time. In fact, if Henry was here, he'd be going off. But Henry and I do that all the time together. <laughs> but I thought you said... Uh, I'm okay, Spider. No, I thought you said the two of us... <laughs> well, I'm okay. I'm okay. So... 
You're not okay. And he First shoots him. And what, 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 what drink did he order? Oh, I used to know Cutting this. Cutting in water. Yeah. All right, so <laughs> we're going to set up some profiles. First of all, you're setting up profiles. Secondly, gonna we're going to help you I'm out. I'm going to set up a real profile. So that I'll probably rant a lot more. You know what, Stace? We probably don't even have to do this because John Amol no, needs to actually set you, up some profiles. You do have to. You set want us to still do it? I I'll, I'll totally do it. All right. Thing. So where are we doing it? We're doing. You should do let me, some of uh, those crazy sites. All right. Wait. All right. Hold are we doing this? Ashley, we have to pay for this. No. Ashley, fucking. Is it? It's free. Ashley Sluthouse dot com. What the hell is it called? Ashley Madison. <laughs> Amy Winehouse. Amy Winehouse <laughs> 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 Ashley it's, Madison. It's all about Are we going to do Ashley Madison? Yeah. All, all right. Ashley Madison. Sugar Daddy. I say we do sugardaddy.com and then do like a regular match. one, like either match or no, match plenty costs, of fish. Match costs money. Do plenty of fish. Plenty I think plenty of fish, fish is, is free. free. Plenty of, plenty. Anything that's free, I'll do. What's that? What is that? Oh, OK Cupid. <gasps> why, not, why not Tinder? Ooh. Oh, Tinder! Oh, Tinder! <laughs> do Tinder! It's coming down. No, 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 Tinder! Tinder. No, 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 no. Holy shit, your dog is going down on your patio door. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> that dog. <laughs> That dog has. Can somebody please get a picture of that? Oh my that god! That dog has a big oh fucking tongue. Oh my god! Tongue. Could you imagine that licking your pussy? Just imagine that licking your That's pussy. Disgusting. Yeah, look at that. <laughs> look at that. That could be all over your veg. That's a hippo yawn. <laughs> yawning hippo. <laughs> that is the yawning hippo. <laughs> so Superman's dog. <laughs> Is tonguing the fuck out of this patio door right now. We're gonna tweet a picture. It's summer. <laughs> you know it's, it's summer, summer when the dog is licking the windows. <laughs> you know what's crazy All is right. when spring comes around and and guys visibly get hornier. Mm. You never notice that as soon as like the weather breaks. When Henry wears the linen pants. The we linen pants about come that. out. Henry, it's like it's said he gets instantaneous. Like as soon as the weather gets nice, all of a sudden said, guys are like horn dogs. He said, "All I want to do is suck." He said, Love "All it. the girls in the summer dresses, it's, awesome." But it's also biological. Well, it I mean, totally is. Like, it's it's a, an innate from a scientific level. Yeah. It's 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 ingrained guaranteed in your DNA. as soon as the weather breaks it's in your DNA. You just want to fuck as soon as the weather gets nice. Love um, it. It's taken long enough. Superman process. just said we should go on our time. It's a oh, dating yeah, site for fifty and over. <laughs> <laughs> Let's do it. Let's do it. Yes. I'm so in. Let's totally yeah, but, do it. But make a make a uh, a profile as a, like a 19 year old. Our time. You will get so many hits. Wait, wait. Can I ask though? What if I want to play backgammon and talk about the good old days? Yeah. Right. You're an old soul. Some parcheesi. You're 19 and an old soul. Uh, are these profiles going to be? We're going to make it's whoever we want to be. It's, I'm not using my real picture. No, 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 no. But it's going to no. be like... Although that did work out pretty well on SugarDaddy.com because dude, all those rich freaks are just looking for some like fucking crazy tattooed girl totally, to party with. Listen, totally catfish it. I'm catfish excited. It. I love this. Catfish the shit out of so it. So I can be any age. I feel a little bad. I feel yeah. kind of sad. Fuck that. I don't want to get time, anyone you, You're not necessarily going to respond and drag them along. You're just going to get emails. So all we do is get cool. emails. You're mm-hmm. collecting data for science. This is a scientific okay. thing. I just saw your eyebrow go up. <laughs> it's just such a nerve on I'm that intrigued. one. I'm intrigued. Because there's your justification. Okay, so we're going to do our time. <laughs> Ashley Madison. Wait, is time spelled T-Y-M-E? <laughs> Not, no. <laughs> old people it's can't spell Like an old parsley, sage, rosemary, and time. Rosemary? I like rosemary. <laughs> All right, that's a definite. We that's at the top of my list. We're definitely doing that. <laughs> okay. Are we gonna do? Sure. Su- I think we should do Sugar Daddy. Sugar Daddy, Sugar Daddy. Ashley Madison, and Ashley. Madison. Our time and plenty of fish. Okay. That's four. I think we need to get together this week and like put together our profiles. Yeah. Oh, can I come too? Yeah. <laughs> when I yes. tell you about saying the word "come" when you look at me. <laughs> Can I see you, M, too? <laughs> you should, because we need to help you with your profile. Yeah, oh, let's have a yeah. profile Because you're not okay, Spider. Yeah. You're not okay, Spider. Yeah, didn't you guys make fun of my last? Yeah, it was, ter- it was terrible. It was, it was terrible. It was, it was terrible. all frat pictures. Oh, no, really? Yeah. We'll help you. He dated a girl who, <laughs> one of her, picture, her profile picture was her kneeling next to a garden gnome. <laughs> <laughs> she had big tits. Sorry. <laughs> I'm like, dude, you really? Well, look at her tits. I go... She's posing with a, a gnome made a out of cement. It turned out her tits were really veiny in person. Oh, and dude. she had just had heart it's surgery. Gnarly. Yeah, and he's oh, like, Christ oh, blah, blah. Like. And I said, oh, how is she? How's her surgery? Out of control. He didn't even know about it. I knew. Was, she was the one that ordered the biggest 
Dildo? drink. Oh. When we were at like Fridays or something. You saw the prescription. And I was like, <laughs> I was like, oh, that's an interesting drink. Is that something you normally drink? I ordered it because my favorite color is blue. Right there, I'm like, fuck, here we go. There's got to be a better screening. Blue tastes good. Blue tastes good. <laughs> I like blue. I like this drink of this Friday. I think it's pretty. It's yummy. They, they put an umbrella I mean, she, in it, and it's so good. She was also Wait, my putts. She was also wearing earmuffs. And she, would so let me, she wouldn't let me touch her ears. <laughs> she wouldn't let me touch her ears. <laughs> All right. Break it, Bates. <laughs> One more thing, and then we uh, we'll go move on. Move on. To you guys, I have uh, eight things you didn't know about cheaters. Uh, they have spots. <laughs> <laughs> Got him. Asshole. <laughs> All right. Che- cheaters. <laughs> I like this co-host better. She laughs at my jokes. <laughs> I can't. Oh, fuck you. Jesus <sighs> Christ. <laughs> yeah, because you get her liquored up. Yeah, I pour a lot of twisted tea. To make, <laughs> so you look, so you sound funny. I'm sober. I'm not laughing. I, I have old man jokes. <laughs> <laughs> it's like that creepy grandpa that makes those jokes that don't make sense. Oh, All right, God. are you ready? I hope to meet one on old our time. <laughs> I was at old time. <laughs> at old time, mid parsley and sage. I would have those in the moving Talk pictures. About spices. Oh, Jesus. Cheaters are more likely to be Talk rock and roll fans. Spices. You hear that? You hear that? <laughs> what are you looking at me for? I'm looking at you. For 41, I'm, looking at, I'm looking at both of you. 41% <laughs> of cheaters prefer rock music to all of the genres. You hear that? <laughs> I love to f- cheat on my wife and listen to Fauna. <laughs> Fauna. Crank up the bad company. I'm going out to f- fuck my side piece. I'm going to rock you like a hurricane and then cheat on you. <laughs> Where's my guma? Let's get the sticks going. <laughs> Sixteen percent like pop music. Yeah, because they're fucking. Eleven percent country. Because they're weak. Seven percent classical. Weak. And rap and hip hop came in last place. Wow, wow seriously. With only two percent of cheaters favoring it. Not accurate. Nobody totally likes- not accurate. <laughs> Nobody likes Disney. Did they only ever no show see tunes? Wolf cry to the blue corn moon. I bet you they did not ask any (laughs) ethnic people at all. This is all a white survey, guaranteed. I think people like rock music. (laughs) If they did, come on. No, they don't. Come on. The lowest percentage was rap music. I got it. I'm trying to look up. That is malarkey. The fact that the the fact that country music, country music beat out rap music. No way. There is no way. All right. Okay. All right. Number two. When women cheat, it's dangerous business. Women not only not only do. <laughs> I mean, just the way you said it makes it. When women cheat, it's to fulfill an emotional need, not just a physical one. Yeah, that means it's over. Cheaters are actually happy in their relationship. Fifty-six percent of men who had affairs were happy with their partners, while thirty-four percent of women were also pretty content. Pretty content. Um, pretty content. Pretty content. Number four. Cheaters get friskier when they're cheating. Once your sex drive is awoken, yeah. the puss is awoken. Then they want to. Uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Wake the puss. <laughs> they actually become a little more in the into their partner. And that is right there the indicator, you know, going down. Women are likely to hmm. cheat when they're ovulating, egging. 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 Um, we found that women were most attracted to men other than their primary partner when they were high in their fertility phase of the menstrual cycle. I thought you just were going to stop right there and just say hi. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hi, women. Gonna cheat. Men will cheat to fix their marriage. What? That's retarded. Yep. They think that going outside their marriage can save it. Perhaps. Because then they'll fulfill their need and they'll want to stay right. true and exactly. blue. Blue true. Cheaters usually cheat with someone they know. 85% of cheating starts amongst coworkers with friends and neighbors and being oh, not too far behind. That work wife or husband? Yep. Cheaters want to get caught. What? That's bullshit. No, they don't. People may actually set it up so I the spouse or partner find out. No, absolutely. It's a cry for help, or it's a cry to end the marriage. I was just going to say, no, cry to get out. Right. Yep. It's a reason. It's a justification in your I head. I think so. I always felt that way. But it's not something that you're like, I'm going to cheat and get caught. Well, maybe <laughs> maybe unconsciously, kind of like I unconsciously astrate myself all the time. No, it's that people... <laughs> right. Well, that's one thing. 
<laughs> the anal rapist. <laughs> it's that people are fucking stupid and not slick. Your answer to everything is people are stupid. Yeah, most people are fucking stupid. I just spit at Paige, and I'm sorry. Because I laughed, and my spit it. flew. It I was attractive, it. though. You have my body fluid on you. And the fact that she immediately me. opened her mouth and caught it was unbelievable. And then licked her lips. Because I love her. And I love you. Oh, look at that. But we don't love you. you guys should I smell you. gangbang. Oh, you guys, you You're guys not should, invited. You guys should suck on a couple more twisted teeth. <laughs> and suck out. your pussy. Wait till we start putting our profiles together for oldtimers.com. Holy shit. What's it I'm, called again? I'm going to help you pick pictures. Our time. <laughs> Our time. T-Y-M-E. We're going we're gonna to put only wet t-shirt pictures. I'm going to put a picture of me at a soda shop. <laughs> what, the, what kind of pictures are we going to use? <laughs> an ice cream soda. We're going we're gonna to go on <laughs> Google and put shop. in wet t-shirt and just put up all of those pictures. Hmm, really? Okay. Yes. Wet are these people that stupid that if yes. we don't have pictures yes. of our faces, they're they'll, not going to... They're still going to... They just. We can, yeah, can, why don't we use pictures of someone else's face? We can. Okay. That's why I said we can catfish it. I, I don't want Nev coming to my house or Neve. I'm just going to oh, put up pictures Neve of Megan Shulman. Fox and see what happens. See if anybody calls me on my Yeah. <laughs> Neve could suck it. <laughs> Neve Shulman, excuse That's me. Um, you broke his heart. That was a fucked up movie. I made you go see it with me. Oh, yeah. That was you. <laughs> Superman's dog has tongue banged your patio door for like two straight hours. My, pa- my, my patio door is so satisfied. <laughs> 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 Look at all the tongue marks. You on would the also door. think that it would be cleaner. <laughs> since it was so Oh my much. god, it's filthy. It's yeah, it's She left a lot of filth. A lot of, mouth. There's a lot of schmegma. Now she's running through <laughs> the sprinkler. <laughs> We made her self-conscious. It was quite a snail trail all over your door. <laughs> Shout out to Bobby Bunny. <laughs> <laughs> Bye, bye, bye. So, uh, what else you got? That's it. Yeah, that's that's it. it. So go to Amazon.com, click on the Why You Suck in Bed. Well, actually, go to our Why You Suck in Bed page, click on the Amazon.com link, and buy stuff. Buy some squatty potties. Buy some porn. Should they mm-hmm. buy, buy squatty some... potties, or should they write us? Well, first write us, but if you lose, you can always buy it on Amazon. Call us. Go to TwistedToys.net, put in the code SUCK, and get 20% off and support page. SUCK. Yeah, support that page. TweakedAudio.com, put in the code SUCK for 33% off earbuds, mic'd, unmiked, wooden. Wood. A lot of different wood. colors. Wood. Put it and in my wood. And Gamefly.com, flow, flow, flowered, forward slash SUCK, you get some free trials and some memberships and some stuff. The Netflix what? or video games. You fucking play video <laughs> games. It's not that hard, people. You, you, you fucking play video games. You send them back. You get new ones. It's fucking great. Just fucking do it. And do it with our code, whatever the fuck it is. Suck. Suck. Um, call our voicemail. 978-503. Suck. Suck. Wow, you remembered it. So did the uh, sex slave. Congratulations. <laughs> <laughs> oh, by the way, Godzilla's number one at the box office. Godzilla! Right now. Oh, I heard it was really bad. I haven't seen it yet. Oh, I heard it was really good. Did you? What? He's what? He's fat? Godzilla's, Godzilla's fat? fat? Wow, really? I heard it's bad. I still fuck him. I'm hoping it's good. <laughs> Godzilla. Godzilla is coming! A face of stress out Godzilla! Number one. Uh, number one box office! Godzilla! Somebody say it. It? Oh. See you next Tuesday! Tuesday.